Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. And, um, yeah, it's Christmas today. Merry Christmas. Um, my voice is really, really fucked up right now. Like, I, I've been sick for the past few days, and I think it's like, uh, I, I don't know if it's worsening or if I'm getting better, but my voice is starting to lose itself. Like, I, I don't feel any worse, but I, I don't think I can talk anymore. Um, I don't think I can talk that much anymore. Maybe it's because I've been, I've been, uh, you know, just pushing out videos one after another and really just been talking too much. Um, yeah, my, my voice is about to be gone. But I, I still want to make at least, uh, you know, one video for each game that I'm playing today. And I'm also leaving the country soon, so I probably won't be able to um, make a video tomorrow. But I'll I'll be able to I'll I'll definitely uh, keep making videos once I once I get to Canada. Uh, so oh yeah, I was gonna talk a little bit about my SAP team. Um, I have good news and bad news. It's mostly bad news. Like I don't think it's good news for you guys. Good news for me is I'm able to 100% clear. Golems B10. I'm able to 100% farm fully auto Golems B10. Um, I've tested, I've tested about 30 runs or so. The bad news is, as you can see, um, this isn't my original team. The, not the original team that I I planned um, and and showcased and stuff and and raised to six stars. Um, this is with the use of my Water Nightmare, who is actually a passive healer with her second skill. Um, it's really really sad because I I know I know like it's really good for me to be able to finally be able to farm B10 but my original intent in making this team was to provide a way for you guys to um, you know just newer players not not all of you I know some of you are definitely better than me I'm gonna ramble like just ramble less today like just ramble on about random shit a lot less today because I, I can't and I just I just wasted like 30 seconds doing that um, but I I wanted to make a team that was accessible like that anyone could build and be able to farm Golden's B10 um, especially for the people who have missed like the events on the first month like the light Victoria or the dark um, Jacqueline um, I wanted to provide an alternative for people who didn't have a chance to to play during that time because um, there's a lot of New York players that are joining the game even even right now, so that was my original intent in making this team. Um, you know, half of it was was that the other half was to you know obviously be able to farm B10, which I've been able to accomplish. But uh, it's really sad that I I, I haven't been able to uh, make my original team work. I know I don't have their gems at plus 15; they're nowhere near plus 15. Um, but I've been doing a lot of testing yesterday, and I know it looked kind of smooth on my first few test runs, but it actually it's, um, after after a few more runs, it's actually not that stable. It really isn't. It's about maybe, I would say, 60 to 70% clear rate, which is pretty much just as good as what I had before with my original team. Um, so it kind of felt like I, I wasted my time. But then I, I had the idea to substitute in my Water Nightmare. I've been just doing a lot of observations, um, looking at why that team is failing and how it fails. Um, and basically just been watching it closely for, for a long time. And I've noticed that the majority of the time that um, something does go bad is because one of the units die before they get to the boss. And that is mainly because the Dark Moon Flower is really, really OP. Um, I'll talk a little bit about her skills right after we get out, um, but I I haven't been able to clear clear it with that team. And um, another problem is I didn't I only had like two two healers, you know, like only two healers. That's like like uh, as if one is not enough. Um, but I, I do have three healers now, and one of them is a passive healer. So I basically I just stack heals and um, just kind of brute force my way through through um, through golden speed 10 with a seven to eight seven to like 10 minute run um, depending on how lucky I am with the saps so um, if you take a look at their stats like these two units aren't that tanky but these two units with just the base stats they're already really really tanky um, you know they're they're nat 4 monsters and they're at evil 3 that's one of the reasons why they were, it was so stable with these two monsters, but 
Um, the main problem is, like, someone would usually die to the Moonflowers. The the Moonflowers do a lot of damage, like, they're, they're one of the most um, highest damage units in the game. If you take a look at their passive, they're basically Dark Monsters, and as you, a lot of you might know, Dark Monsters have 50% extra crit damage, and they also have this Hunter passive, which gives them another 50% crit damage. So, um, you know, if your RNG is bad enough, and it spawns like three moonflowers or something like that. Um, they're basically always going to get their AOEs off because I I have a pretty slow team. Like my team isn't doesn't have a lot of damage, so there's, there's really no way for me to kill them before they get their AOEs off. And if they crit on their AOEs, um, if like you know maybe two of them crit on their AOEs, someone's going to die. Basically, like it's usually the the water siren because she's the squishiest. She's probably going to die first. Um, and when she does, just everything goes to shit. Because without her, I don't have enough sustain to beat to beat the boss. And um, sometimes three, like three units, might be able to three man it. But um, a lot of other times, it it doesn't happen. Um, it's not because she's not tanky enough. At full HP, she's able to tank through a lot of damage. But the problem is, um, a lot of times, she's going to be at like you know like 60% HP or something like that. And um, and then she refuses to use her heal. She might use her her um, her normal skill and bring her to about 80% HP, but that isn't an, always enough to tank through the damage of the Moonflowers. And sometimes, um, sometimes it's not even her that dies. Sometimes it's some other unit. And yeah, it's just it's just kind of been really bad. Like sometimes, a lot of times they they really do. Like someone does actually die before they're able to do anything. And I've been able to kind of make up for that by using a passive healer to obviously keep their HP at max always, like almost always max HP. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I was able to make it 100%. But it wasn't my intent to to make it like this. I'll, my, my original intent was to make them so tanky that they can tank through the Moonflower's um, damage because of their their her leader skill and um, just you know stacking tankiness on these units. But it turns out that it's not actually enough. Like it's not always enough to to um, to tank through their damage. I'm not 100% sure yet because I don't have their gems at plus 15. But once I do, I will know for sure. Um, I I still want to do some tests. I I definitely want to continue on and raise all their gems to plus 15 and see if it's stable. If it's stable, then I can my original plan works. All you really need to do is get the same quality gems as I do, and I don't have really good gems. My gems are complete garbage. Um, but anyone that has been farming B7, B8, B9 um, should be able to get the same quality gems that I have after like you know maybe a month of playing. Um, and yeah, if it works out, then then I'll be really happy that. Um, it's been working, but for now I'm just going to use my, my team with the Water Nightmare to farm up enough gold to upgrade my gems to plus 15, and once they're at plus 15, I'll, um, you know, it'll, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be able to know for sure if this, um, if this project is a success, or if, or if I fucked up again. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, sorry to kind of leave you guys hanging there, but I, I definitely do want to continue continue on with this project and want to um, just know for sure even if it doesn't work out I want to know for sure hundred percent if it like like 100 percent certain that it doesn't work or it works um, I think my the quality of my my gems is a pretty good like pretty good uh, baseline because I, I'm just someone that has progressed up from b7 to ba to b9 and now moving on to b10. I'm not someone that um, has already been farming B10 for a long time and already farmed dragons for like really really good gems and then came back to make a, a B10 team. Um, so this my the quality of my gems should be around the quality of someone that is moving on to B10 as well. So um, yeah, when I when I finish this, we'll know for sure. And um, if not, then if it doesn't work, then I'll try to figure something out because I, I definitely don't want to be farming with a seven eight minute team for b10 uh, forever but if if it doesn't work then I'll I'll think of something and then we'll we'll move on to the next project all right um, thank you guys so much for sticking with me along the way 
and I'm gonna keep going. I I'm almost complete. The team is not at, at its full potential, not at 100% yet, but I'm gonna raise it to its full potential, and we're gonna see if it works out. All right. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm starting to lose my voice here, but yeah. Uh, have a have a, have a happy holiday and uh, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.